Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Friday and everybody's ready for the weekend. Well, today we are going to be working on Chocolate Cat and Flower. Okay? Yeah, I got this from FG Normal. I don't know if it's last week or the week before. So we're going to be working right here in the neck of the cat. And the color that I'm using is 336, which is a dark, dark blue, if you will. In fact, I don't think I could tell the difference between 336, 939, and 823. 823 maybe it's a little lighter, but yeah, they're really very, very close. So, yeah. So what's everybody up to? everybody ready for the weekend anybody going anywhere doing anything fun or exciting I'm going out to lunch today with my daughter and my grandkids whoops sorry so that'll be fun so I wanted to get this done before we went. I don't think we're going on any adventures today. You know, it's just really hard to get up in the woods and walk around because there's just so many people camping and that kind of thing. So, yeah. Yesterday was pretty uneventful. I, uh, did go to the grocery store and got some I was really hungry for chicken salad and I get the the Reese's chicken salad it's already made I was going to make it from scratch but I was there too early for them to have the uh, rotisserie chickens on and stuff so yeah we just got Reese's and I bought some uh, tomatoes so I kind of just cut up tomatoes and had chicken salad a little on the side for lunch. And then for dinner, I wasn't real starving, so I just fixed macaroni and cheese. You know, shells and cheese that comes in a box. Yeah. So that was really good. But I don't know. I, I walked all over that grocery store for a good half an hour 45 minutes just couldn't find anything else but the chicken salad so I turned around and just came home and had that I stitched on the four seasons for a little bit I finished up a color well no I didn't finish up a color finished up one area that had the color I was working with so I still got a little bit more of that one color. Boy, this is kind of hard to see. And I worked on the Colorful Town. I think it's from New Craft Day. I keep saying that. I think that's who that's from. It's written on the bag. Yeah, I really like it. So I got some more threads on it and Stitched on that until I got tired of wrestling it around. But yeah, that's about all I stitched on. And I laid down. Oh, big mistake. Laid down, take a nap. Oh, we don't need to put on the the alarm. Yeah. I laid down at 3.30 and didn't get up till 6.30. Yeah, it was awesome. Okay, you cannot be... I'm going to just lose this because it's too small of an area. But that'll hold my needle for five minutes. I thought I needed a needle minder, but evidently not. So, yeah, that was the sum total of my day. I did sit in my rocking chair for a while and stitch. and Yeah, and then I was off to the races doing something else I don't remember what else I had to do 
yesterday. So. Oh my goodness. And it did. It rained for, oh, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Nothing else. I don't know if it rained while I was asleep or not. Not a clue. Not a clue. And I was going to tell y'all if anybody has any projects that they finished or that you're working on or anything like that, then please send me a picture and I'll put it in one of my Stitch With Me's. Tomorrow we have uh, Christmas in July. That'll be at 1. And I've got to go today. Sometime I've got to find my 12 days of Christmas. I mean, you can't miss it. it I think it has its own bag. I'm pretty sure. Because it's such a big big project but that's the one I'm going to use for Christmas in July tomorrow and I may keep it out and just stitch on it because yeah it needs to have some progress hang tight just a second all right I'm back uh, the wind was picking up a little bit and it made a noise I thought somebody was knocking on the door there but I was wrong oh my goodness Oh, that yard so needs to be raked and sticks picked up and all this lovely stuff. If it had just stopped raining, I don't want to pick up wet stuff out of the yard. It rains and then it rains it in the nighttime, you know, and I don't know about it. So <sighs> I don't know whether that project will get done this this season or not. I keep waiting for it to be semi-nice so that it's not blazing hot while we're out there trying to do it. But in the, on the other hand, uh, it rains and, I don't know, it, it seems to dry up fast, but I just don't trust it underneath the, the leaves and stuff. I have tree, but the leaves... Excuse me, it's not like a an oak or a maple, so the trees are only about, or the leaves, what is that, two, maybe three inches, and then maybe an inch and a half wide. <sighs> kind of like a, is that an elm? Could be an elm or a cottonwood, I don't know. It's a sturdy tree, it keeps on ticking, you know, through all this wind. That we seem to have all the time. So it doesn't break real easy. Or anything like that. I mean it's an established tree. It's probably been there 50-60 years. So. Or at least since the trailer park. You know. Came into existence. But. Anyway. So I got no idea what else I'll work on. Today, I came real close to getting out my big one, but after wrestling with the uh, colorful town, I couldn't get comfortable for some reason. I think the only way I can really stitch on it is when it's like accordion folded in my lap, because I tried to have it, <clears throat> you know, round, rolled up. That didn't work. It was in my way every time I went to, because you know me, I got to turn the material sideways and upside down and all that stuff <sighs> yeah but I about got that house whooped that I was working on I finished the bottom part of it so I started in on you know other colors and I got three quarters of the windows done on it I don't know you just can't you can see the dark windows, but you can't see anything else. So I keep, I didn't really pay attention whether or not I was supposed to uh, backstitch all that or not. I don't remember. Can't remember. I'm just stitching to be stitching, I think. Uh, 
Oh my goodness. Other than that, I have no idea what, nothing too exciting going on here, you know, in town that I know of. I didn't see anything in the paper about any festivals, not until August. There is one, but it's like 45 minutes away from here, or in the opposite direction, like towards Denver. And I really don't want to have to go down there in all that silly traffic. So, yeah, no. Not happening. And my daughter didn't even mention it. Sometimes we'll go to the one in Leadville. Because that's what we've always done ever since they were little. But that's not until, oh, the first weekend in August, maybe. So, yeah. Now, on Thursdays, they have lunch in the park, but we took the kids, oh, a couple of times. What was that, last year? Maybe the year before. Yeah, we none of us were real excited about that. So, oh, dang nabbit. <sighs> Seriously. Okay. I've had enough. Nope. We're just going to play. I love it when it does that. And then it's so far down I can't get this stupid thing threaded. So we have more thread. We have more thread. Let me see here. But I really can't tell the difference between this thread and the 939 that's right near it. Or there's 310 black in there somewhere. But it's all pretty dark. But yeah, I really like this cat. I'm going to try to work on some of these flowers that are over here. But I can't do that in a, a video. Only because I can barely see it. I have to be over there by the light. Or with my other light. And it's like hop, skip, jump. Yeah, not happening. Not to mention, the pinks are all paler than that. Yeah. <laughs> no. And somewhere in there, there's white. I mean, as if it wasn't pale enough, right? Okay, what's going on here? Oh, I think we're kind of done going hiking around unless we can find some place that is not a tourist destination, if you will. Because now there's campers and everything else, else up there by where we were just walking around. What was that? Two, two, three weeks ago? Yeah. No. Okay, let me end this thread. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. I thought I could turn around and go across, but it was way too far. And I'm just not real clear on whether or not I got more of that or not. This is kind of, what do you call it, confettied. Somebody asked me to show them how I do confetti, but this is not the piece because it's so small. I'll, I'll show you on uh, like something like London or... New Orleans, you know, something that's big and 11 count. It'll be easier to see. But basically what I do is I pick a symbol that looks like it's kind of scattered throughout. And I just thread up a needle. I don't thread 12, you know, because that won't happen. Because I'll forget what the heck it, I'm stitching with. That will always happen. So I just take it one thread at a time and just go find all those symbols and hop, skip, jump, you know, begin, end, yeah, until it gets done. And that's basically the way I do confetti. It, it's... Yeah. 
And this is, I don't know if you can see that. It's just, it's kind of horrific. <laughs> I mean, for a video, you know, because there's like symbol, symbol, down, up, round, up, over, and around. Then it comes over here and goes a little bit more. But there's also a blue and a green of the same symbol. Oh, yeah. We need to have a talk for those people that design these things. I bet they never put a stitch in in their whole life. Well, it's time they start, right? Oh, my goodness. And this is kind of hard to see, too. Because you have to... I can't hardly tell where the holes are, so I'm just kind of poking and, and guessing. You know, that muscle memory thing. So, yeah, I, I got nothing on what else I'm going to stitch on this weekend. I, I just, no clue. I have no desire to start anything. I know that's weird. I must be sick. So, yeah. I get in those kind of moods where let's just stitch what we have. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. They had to start those coys. I should get back to that, too. My problem is I never get back to things. Oh, and I was at some site. Don't ask me where. I can't remember where I was at. Maybe, let's see, what would it have been? Maybe DP Clubs? I, I, I don't remember. And you remember that girl that had, you know, she's, you could, her back is to you, and it's kind of bare, but she has like this tattoo of a, a bird or a peacock. And then there's another bird like on her shoulder. There was like five or six in that same style that I had never, ever seen before. So, yeah, I didn't get back to that. But I thought that was interesting because I'd only seen that one with the, you know, the one I got. There's another good one. I really like that one, too. I like the colors in it. I don't know how far we're going to get down here. I don't... In my brain, I'm not thinking we're not going to have... First, we're going to get rid of that. Ah, oh, nabbit. Really, kids? Really? Um... Well, time to get out the cats. I got them on a, a, what do you call it, a safety pin so I don't lose them because they're so dang small. Well, it'd probably help if you had the needle to put it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is why I do this off camera because it's such a little mess. But I get so close, I don't think. Hold, please. Come okay, on get there. Oh, come on. We've done this a hundred times. Hang on, guys. Okay, I'm back, finally. Holy cow. That was a piece of work. Because it's really kind of getting short. I was stitching on 11 count the other day, and I was getting way down there, and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't turn my needle. Because... I'm so used to doing that with this 14 count stuff. I take it down to within like an inch. If I can. Yeah. But when it comes to 11 count, it's a little hard to go down to the bare nothingness. I seem to have more luck with 14 count. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be close. Don't you hate that to get out a strand just for like two stitches? Yeah, I'm not going to make it. Oh, crap. Seriously, kids. Yep, I can't turn that again. It'll come right out of that needle. All right, guys. 
let me put that needle right over here in that white part there we go so it's coming along i got some big areas right through here so we'll have the cap mostly done except for the back stitching and there's where that pink symbol is I don't know where if I right there and a little bit across his head that's all three it's three eight six five or b5200 I can't remember right offhand and then starts those leaves oh it'll be awesome yeah all right guys well thank you for joining me today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell that way you'll know when my next video comes out Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.